Hey guys, I just wanted to kind of, you know, post a more positive kind of vlog after the first couple of rants that I had because I can be positive. It's not easy. I mean, sometimes people don't understand that the, the, the general pressure that society puts on you to be a certain kind of way in a sense to say if you're not pretty then you know you're not gonna get you're the not attention. rich then you're not gonna get any form of attention if you're not white if you're not straight if you're not up to the standards of what society calls the standards just tend to kind of put all of the energy into making life a living hell for you which is really unfair Midgets and people that are disabled or you know visually impaired or you know um, decapitated paralyzed actually go through the most horrendous things in their life and it's really painful to kind of it's painful to witness it as well as having to actually be put through that i thought that society was supposed to be teaching people positivity and teaching people a way of life whereby you're accepted no matter how you are no matter how you look no matter how you dress no matter what your body looks like whether you're short whether you're tall black fat thin white yellow green blue it doesn't matter it's hard because there's a small category of people that are actually non-judgmental filled up with well basically mixed in with a world full of judgmental people and nowadays all of this social bullying in a sense of if you are not up to my standards then i'm gonna bully you until you well, are my standards. what kind of mindset is that i would never want to reach your standards if you believe that bullying me into being the way that you are is the is the way that i should be like i'm not gonna do that why would i want to be a bully and this time i'm not really talking about you know i'm not talking about my religion i'm just talking about in general it's just sad that people can't just accept you for whatever decision you choose to make in your life it's sad that you know there's this general pressure to be a certain kind of way and if you are not that certain kind of way then you are not accepted the world is not built up like that i guarantee you if god was actually on earth he would not allow any of these things to be happening like i know there's specific rules and regulations that come with religions and stuff like that but to be honest with you what i'm starting to realize is that as much as i am a, a muslim i believe that the relationship with god goes way beyond these holy books it goes way beyond these rules it goes way beyond everything it 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 is it's something it's like just a simple connection the connection between you and god the connection between your intention and what's in on the inside and basically the battle of what's on the inside to what's on the outside i think that the worst people in the world the people that do the most stupidity are the ones that get praised the most the people that are half naked or buck ass naked the people that are bullies the people that have fights the people that do things that are unruly are the ones that get millions of views on facebook or Instagram or even here on YouTube but then the people that actually do things that are genuinely talented they don't get the credit they deserve why because society teaches you that you have to basically lower yourself to the standards of whatever it is that they want in order for them to praise you it's just disappointing now I did say that I'm gonna be positive so here I am trying my hardest to be positive but at the same time when you're speaking the truth i mean the truth does not come with candy floss and pigtails and unicorns and glitter the truth comes with a lot of you know it, it, it let's just say the truth is like a bombshell i don't really know if that was the right kind of explanation especially being in my position but you kind of get my drift like you know the truth it it hurts the truth hurts and there's a lot of people that stop being friends with people because they're too honest like me for example i do not have that much friends i don't really care that i don't have that much friends to be honest i mean i do care deep down because it sucks to be lonely majority of the time but the reason why i don't really care is because i'd rather be friends with people that accept me as i am than people that i'm gonna have to lie to for the rest of my life just to fit into that category
And the main point that I'm actually trying to make is don't forget about the people that actually work very hard and have worked really, really hard to actually get to where they are. Don't forget about the people that are still working very hard just to get to where they want to be. Don't forget that there is a lot of people that have a lot of similarities to you. So you're not any superior to them and they are no superior to you. At the end of the day, people, if you want like world peace, which is what probably something that everybody might must have in common at least, then you have to spread the peace to get the peace. Stop bullying, it's unnecessary. Give the hard workers credit when it's due. Like there's people that have spent their years, spent years of their lives doing so many things and still go unnoticed. And I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about a lot of people in this world. I could even be speaking to a person that's in that same exact predicament. Like, we all relate in some kind of way. So just spread the love. Peace and blessings.